Hey everyone, this is Hannah with the Rocket Miner giving you today's video news update. To start off with, just go over the COVID-19 numbers for Wyoming. Today we are up to 2,627 confirmed cases and 492 probable cases. We've had a total with um, confirmed and probable cases of 2,601 recoveries. And so with all the numbers, we have 488 active cases for the state of Wyoming today, which again has gone down a little bit, which is great. Um, unfortunately, today one of the numbers did go up again, and that was the death total. Uh, the Wyoming Department of Health reported that a Bighorn County man who was confirmed to have COVID-19 has died. Uh, this was an older adult male who had health conditions that are recognized as putting patients at higher risk of serious illness related to COVID-19, and he had been hospitalized in another state. Um, this brings Wyoming's COVID-19 related death total up to 30. And I know that I've said the active case number is going down, and it is, which is great, but I think one of the things to keep in mind when you think about the numbers and where they're at is um, just the, the length of time it takes in between things, between someone being confirmed to have a case of the virus and how that um, might affect their health, their recovery time, and then for the people who it will ultimately lead to their death. Um, you have to think about how that those numbers are going to come later. So if you see a spike in the cases and those are going up, you might not see a spike in the deaths until weeks or months later, but it could still be connected. So you have to think about the timeline and the ways that the numbers and the time frames impact each other. Um, and I just say that as another reminder that even though the active case number is going down, which is great, and we are starting to head more in the right direction with where our numbers are at, it is still up there pretty high, honestly, um, a lot higher than it was a couple months ago when things were still um, pretty shut down and there were lots of restrictions. That number's still significantly up since then. And even though it's going down, we still need to not ease up too soon or just jump the gun and think that we're fine. We still need to be careful and take precautions and remember that even though things are looking positive, um, we need to keep being vigilant because this can impact people's lives in huge, significant ways. And for um, people like the family of this Bighorn County man who just died, this is gonna impact the rest of their lives forever. And it took his life. So it's something that we need to remember is a matter of life and death for a lot of people and is life-changing in really horrible ways for a lot of other people. So it's something we still need to take seriously and we still need to continue to do our best to keep bringing that number down. Um, in another sad news update today, I just wanted to give an update on the story that I had talked about um, when I did the video on Monday. Um, in the case of the missing um, father and son out by the Flaming Gorge. On Tuesday night, they did recover the body of the seven-year-old boy who was in the ATV accident with his father. Um, this was a, a Rock Springs man and his son. They had gone missing on Friday. Um, the body of the father was recovered on Saturday in the Flaming Gorge, and then as I said in Monday's update video where it was at at that point was they were still looking for the boy. They had just brought in um, experts from the Sublette County search and rescue team um, and were going to use side sonar scanning technology. Um, they did do that all day Monday, Tuesday. The sheriff's office said it was nearly 12 hours of side sonar scanning by the experts with Sublette County's tip top search and rescue team and then several follow-up dive attempts by volunteers from the Sweetwater County Dive Team. Um, but with all of those efforts, around 7 p.m. on Tuesday evening, they were able to find the body of the seven-year-old boy um, who was in that crash with his father. Uh, they recovered his body in Big Firehole Canyon 
um, the Big Fire Hole Canyon area of the Green River and the Flaming Gorge Reservoir. Um, Sheriff John Grossnickel said, Sometimes horrific and unexplainable things happen to otherwise good people who just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Our hearts hurt for this family, but we find some solace in being able to provide them with the closure that they deserve. This would not have been possible without the help and cooperation of everyone involved. So I just wanted to give that update um, that they were able to find that boy's body. And again, just all of our, our condolences and um, our hearts just go out to the family and friends as they are going through this tragedy and just want to extend our thanks to the sheriff's office, to um, the volunteers and experts from the Sublet County team and just everyone who worked together um, and yeah, to be able to provide that closure to the family. So uh, we are grateful for that, but again, just our, our hearts and our condolences to everyone in this tragedy. Thankfully, we do have a few good news updates today as well. Um, first off, some information about the Wyoming Hunger Initiative and some funds that were given to some um, local organizations with that. This is First Lady Jenny Gordon's Wyoming Hunger Initiative, and they teamed up with um, Governor Mark Gordon's Residence Foundation, and they just recently awarded 30 food relief checks um, in July and August to some Wyoming senior centers. Um, they said that all told, the donations totaled over $10,000, and that's part of the total $80,000 that were allocated to anti-hunger nonprofit organizations throughout Wyoming's 23 counties. These COVID response funds are um, directed specifically to feed families and seniors during this time of crisis. Governor Gordon said, Wyoming Hunger Initiative's mission is to end childhood hunger in Wyoming. But when COVID hit and so many generous donors stepped up to provide for hungry families in Wyoming, we knew we needed to shift to include all people who were in need of food. There are numerous senior centers around the state of Wyoming who are providing meals during this time and we felt it was equally as important to include them in our distribution. Um, two of the organizations that received some of these funds were local organizations here um, in Sweetwater County that included Golden Hour Senior Center in Green River and Rock Springs Young at Heart. So definitely thankful to both of those organizations for all the work that they do and how much they've been doing to help provide food for people who need it right now. And just thankful um, to the governor and the first lady for that program and giving that um, assistance throughout Wyoming to make sure that people are getting the food that they need. And then to end, wanted to let people know that if you are looking to adopt a dog, this weekend is your chance, it's your time to do it. Um, the Green River Animal Control Department is going to be hosting a two-day adoption event on Friday and Saturday, so tomorrow and Saturday. Um, they just received 18 pets from the state of Texas who are in need of homes. And most of those pets are dogs and several of those are puppies. These dogs were actually flown in from Texas to here um, through the Dog Is My Co-Pilot program. So they sent these 18 pets to the Southwest Wyoming Regional Airport earlier this week and um, all of the pets have received either all or some of their vaccines and the local paw spa donated bathing and grooming services for these pets so they'll be available for adoption as i said tomorrow and on saturday um, this will be set up at Baumgars in green river this will be running from 11 a.m to 3 p.m on both days and microchips will be available to any of the pets who are adopted or any pets that are brought from home. So if you don't have a microchip for your own pet, you can bring it. And the cost for the microchips is $20. So if you're looking for a pet, there are some dogs and puppies and a few others that are um, in need of homes now that will be available at that event. So those are um, the news updates I have for you today. Thanks for listening and keep checking back with us for more news and updates. Have a good night.